video and I'm talking to ex-premiership referee Jeff Winter about the new charity 300 miles in three days bike ride from Glasgow to Stoke City. Yes, unbelievable when you think about it, 100 miles a day, um, they've got some dedication, but I think this culminates a year of um, fundraising where they're, they're looking to raise an unbelievable £50,000, and that's for the um, Stoke City Foundation and also for the Glasgow Rangers, similar charity up there, and the guys obviously are Rangers fans that now live in this area, but I think everybody's got involved, and I, I'm just amazed at not only what they're taking on, but also in these difficult economic times, how much they've done. And I know I come from Middlesbrough, and I've been involved in Middlesbrough's Football Club Foundation, so I'm fully aware of what it does in the community, how it helps and encourages people, and um, you know, power to them, absolutely fantastic effort. How did you end up being a part of it? Sort of thing. Were you just approached? Well, I'm known for being a Glasgow Rangers fan as well as being a former referee. So the guys with the Glasgow connection knew a few people who knew me and asked me if I'd like to get involved in a fundraising evening. So it's myself and Midlands comedian Mick Martin are here in Stoke this evening to you know have a little bit of fun. And but during the course of the evening, we've got raffles, we've got auctions. So we're hoping to you know boost that the, the figure that they've uh, raised even more. Is figure for how much you want to raise? I don't know whether, I mean, when they told me £50,000, it sort of took my breath away, but that's what they're looking to raise over the course of the year. And as I say, in these difficult times, you know, people, charities are suffering because people are suffering. There isn't the money, you know, disposable income to, to give away, really. But, you know, I think the people involved with the charity down here and the foundation, uh, they don't take no for an answer. They certainly um, take on a challenge because 300 miles, 100 miles a day, just think about it, on a bicycle. It, um, I think I could go around the Britannia Stadium twice and that would be me uh, worn out. But um, I've been told that the guys, they just don't take no and no challenge is too big for them. Um, you know, and it's fantastic that we've got people like that because that sort of money, you know, shared between the two football foundations can make such a difference. And it's great that we get people like you on board because then if people know about you, they'll come and they'll see you and then they'll make more money. Well, I hope so. I think they've sold all the tickets tonight. So tonight's it's one of those bonus situations. Since I finished refereeing, I've been on the after dinner speaking circuit for the last 10 years. And it's one of those win-win situations because whenever I work, okay, it's my livelihood now, but whenever I'm out speaking, hopefully people are having a good night, but then money is being raised for good causes. So, you know, long may the sporting dinners and raffles and auctions and things continue because, you know, everybody does win.